Hi, this is Professor CC19, and today we're playing level 170 on our quest to the end of Candy Crush Saga, where we have 30 moves only to clear out 55 jelly. Now, 30 moves is not a lot of time, especially on a board like this. We have licorice twirls, we have licorice locks, we have chocolate and chocolate spawners. But the hardest thing for us to deal with on this board is the jelly in these little notches. Not only are they rather isolated, for, so they're difficult for us to reach, but they will be constantly recovered by the chocolate spawners. So what we want to do is try and create as many specials as possible early on, and um, try and use them together to target this, uh, these areas down here, because the isolated areas are going to be the toughest for us to reach. I'm looking to create some cascading here. I was hoping for um, an orange to slide right through here so we could get a color bomb potentially. But uh, even without the color bomb, look how much cascading we're getting. That's very good. Now, right now, there's a licorice swirl blocking this, and there's licorice locks from blocking these chocolates from growing. So the chocolate spawner that will be active is only going to be this one on the left. Here is a good move, because when we switch these together, it's going to clear out some jelly, and it's also going to reach into these crevices. Now what I want to do is create a, another ranged attack very quickly to reach into these crevices, so I can take out a layer of the jelly before they get covered in chocolate again. So here I have a striped candy that is poised to um, take out this row. I just need to activate it. So once again, creating a lot of cascading. As long as I take out a chocolate, no new chocolate was, would, will form. And it kind of got taken out just by cascading there. Here we go. This is a very good move. Because not only will this strike both of the um, little notches, the isolated areas, but if it, sep it sets this off before it sh strikes horizontally, it could take out this bottom row completely. So if the striped candy counts as one and the uh, striped wrap combo counts as two, it could take it out completely. Unfortunately, it did not, but it still took out a lot with it. So now I have only 19 jelly left. As you can see, with a bit of luck and all the cascading, and knowing what to concentrate on, I'm down to uh, not very many jelly left quite quickly. Right, so looking to see what, uh, how the colors are going to line up, I see if I bring the, this green down, it clears out the candy here, and just in the nick of time, too, because the chocolate's starting to spawn over it again. And by doing this, it will also clear out the isolated area here. So now I only have nine jelly left. Some of them are along the top corners, which are also a little bit more difficult. But um, most of them are near the chocolate spawners. So I want to clear them out as quickly as possible so they don't keep getting recovered. So here, where I can strike manually, I will. But uh, I'm more concerned about getting this purple down just one more square so that it can take out the jelly. And, in fact, this is the last jelly in the isolated row. So once that is gone, I don't have to worry about it as much. I could wait to match this, uh, this color bomb with the special, but I see if I take out orange, it takes out the corner and next to the spawner and hits this. So I'm going to take out all orange for the board. I'm hoping this will set me up so I can send this off one down, and it does. All right, so my job is almost done. I have only four jelly left I need to remove. Three are here, one is down here, and I can take this one out. So I have a little bit under half my moves to take out this last little bit of jelly. And really, all I have to do is strike this last one in the corner now, and I'm done. So I need some more purple around here, and there we go. So that's how I beat level 170. This was my first playthrough, although I do remember this level being quite troublesome my first time around. The advice I can give you is make sure you keep creating the ranged attacks that will take out the isolated areas. And um, once you have the chocolate cleared out in that area, try and get another one very quickly so you can take out the jelly before it refills. If you're struggling with this level, I would recommend bringing in the jellyfish booster because they become part of the candy mix 
and they can help you with any crevices that you're having a lot of trouble with. If you found this video helpful to you, please subscribe. If you're stuck on any particular level of the game, please leave a comment below. I will try and help you with that level. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Kind of waiting for this to come about so I can see how many points I got. Wasn't really paying attention. But uh, it doesn't really matter because the page isn't responding, so I'm just going to end it. Oh, there it is. 380,000, my personal best. So that's good. Thanks for watching.